All right, so it was requested that I do a very quick video on how I do video capture. Um, my, set my setup is pretty simple. Uh, basically, everything eventually ends up here at this uh, Hophog HD PVR2, and uh, it works really well. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so we'll start at the beginning and we'll end up right back here. So I'm getting ready to uh, make a video on my reverse sleeper Windows XP rig that I have right here. Uh, you'll probably see that video before you see this one. This is the VGA out right here off the video card. And then if we follow this horrible mess of wires, it goes to this DTEC two port splitter or uh, yeah, duplicator. It's not really a splitter uh, since it reproduces the signaling apparently. And it is apparently good up to 1920 by 1080 over VGA. Um, Anyway, and then I use this little slim boy here that goes to the back of my CRT monitor so I get that in real time because uh, I don't really care as much about the quality here. I want the quality going from here to the capture to be as high as possible. So this is a fairly beefy new VGA cable that I bought off Amazon. It goes in here and then it gets duplicated. It goes in here and then it gets duplicated uh, to these two. So one, this slim one here goes to the monitor and this other, this is an older VGA cable. Uh, this one goes over here and it messes around and it ends up here. Uh, this is an older Geffen VGA to DVI scaler and this takes whatever VGA signal it gets and outputs it to DVI uh, and I have it set up as 1080i. Uh, it'll do 1080p and a bunch of other wacky resolutions. Um, I got this off eBay for 30 bucks and uh, the, the downside was it did not come with a power supply. So I happen to have a fairly beefy 5 volt power supply here. It runs on 5 volts. Uh, the, connect, the, the barrel connector I believe is 2.2 by 5.5 millimeters. And this thing is fairly power hungry for 5 volts. It actually runs fairly warm while it's scaling. And it actually runs kind of warm when it's not doing anything. I think it just scales all the time whether something's plugged into it or not. So, uh, But this is, a, this is an overspec power supply. And then this runs from the uh, the DVI port here, and I kind of have it drop behind my desk. And then on the other end of that DVI is this HDMI connector. So this is HDMI in, and uh, and then from there there's a USB cable here, which goes to my little capture. Well, pretty basically all I use this laptop for now is capture. Uh, it's like a second gen. Ultrabook uh, i7, something like that. The video capture really doesn't use any CPU power, uh, very minimal. Uh, it just writes it to the SSD in here, and then I pull it off the SSD because this only has 256 gigs of uh, storage. So um, I pull that off and um, uh, take it into editing. Now, this um, the Hopog also has an HDMI out, which is here. This is a fairly small cable, and then that goes to my 4K TV so I can get a semi real time. This is slightly delayed. And then this also gets audio. Oh, I don't have it hooked up right now. So it's got an analog kind of input right now um, that's currently plugged into this VCR. I'm doing some capturing for uh, one of my housemates. This is just regular analog input. And that's the thing that really made this work for me, for my use case, versus the Elgato kind of more modern solutions that exist. For some reason, I could, even though it was an advertised feature, I could not get analog capture to work on the Elgato, whereas this one, uh, it works great, because obviously, you know, an old video card's not gonna output audio through its HDMI, so I have to use analog. So this would normally plug into the back of the sound card. Um, this is an Audigy one, I believe. And uh, what I'll do is I'll usually, if I want to hear the audio, uh, I'll have one going to speaker out and I'll have one going to line out and then the line out will come over here and I'll tweak the settings to make sure the audio works. And it usually syncs up perfectly fine, nothing to do in post. So that's it. It's a pretty straightforward capture setup. So it's just VGA, duplicator, one goes to the monitor, one goes to the scaler, scaler goes to the capture, and capture goes to USB to this system. So that's my setup. Um, and again, this scaler, you can find these on eBay. Uh, sometimes they look a little different. The going rate last time I looked, which was actually a couple of weeks ago, still around 30 bucks. Uh, for some reason, seems to always be without a power supply. So what I'd, what I'd advise is get this. Don't buy the brick for it right away because the barrel connector might be different than the one I have. 
get it, look at the barrel connector, verify it's uh, either 2.1 by 5.5 or 2.2 by 5.5. It's usually gonna be one of those two. I believe it's center pin positive. And uh, yeah, you'll be all set up. So that's how I do my capture. Thanks for watching.